I've got this mixing desk to fix. Um, it's not turned on at all, there's no power coming in, so it might be an easy fuse job. I mean, I'm no expert, I'm just kind of hoping it's a fuse. Something simple. I've measured the mains lead and it's got continuity and the fuse is okay. And have a look inside. Right, so I've undone a load of screws here and a load of screws at the back, and it just seems to uh, want to come out. Easy as that, look. So I've tested the switch out, testing it across there, and it looks like we've got three wires coming out. This this is the power supply, obviously, and then there's your earth, and you've got three different uh, voltages, it looks like there. So um, I'll have to look on the internet if I can find out, or just measure if we've got any voltages on here when we turn, the, turn it on. Okay, well, that's the earth, and we'll just try this. this I think it's pink, is it grey? God, my bloody hands aren't steady enough. What's going on with the meter? <coughs> right, we'll just try the blue one. Red one, sorry. Nothing. And this one there, nothing. So something's gone wrong, hasn't it? That is strange. Let me try on 20 volts. Oh dear. We'll take this off. So uh, I've done a voltage check and we've got power coming into the transformer. This is a transformer lead here. So it comes out of the transformer. AC goes into these four diodes, comes out the other side of the diodes to here and here. And we've got DC coming out of there, about 120 volts. Um, and then that go into all these legs here. This leg here comes from this optical sensor, which sends the power to the leg through this resistor. And that tells this how much voltage it's getting and what to do. So this is a pulse width, width modulator, so this will turn on the, the DC on and off and that will go to this transformer here and that will create the, the lower voltages the three different voltages we're going to have, I think it's about 12, 45 and minus 45, something like that so I've got another one of these chips just arrived from Germany in the post today so we'll uh, take this one off and I'm going to snip the, each of the legs off and they don't go through the board, they just sit on top. And I'm, I'm not an expert, so I'm just going to cut each one of these off with a pair of snips and I'm going to insolder each leg just to save getting the board red hot. So a bit confusing because all the wires, I've got all the wires off, all cut off. There's nothing, no wires attached, but it's still, still quite solid. I don't know what's going on. It must be glued down because we'll look at the old one. The new one, the microchip's got like a bit of a metal bit. I wonder if it's got like a heat sink. I wonder if you glue a heat sink on to the... I'll have to take this board out and look underneath and see what's going on. So I've looked underneath and there's nothing there, so it's a matter of... Well, I don't know if it is, but we'll just try. I just can't get my hand here with a tripod in the way. I don't want to damage that capacity. Oh, shit. Bloody hell, it's annoying isn't it? Yeah, I felt something's move. Oh, it's a chip breaking. What the hell's going on with my life at the minute? What's going on there? Let's get the microscope on it. There we go. It's got some sort of uh, thermal paste on the bottom. Must have been the uh, gluey, gluey thermal paste. I haven't got none of them like that left, I don't think. Use a bit of IPA to clean it up. Use a bit of IPA, look. See if it gets it off. And we'll come around with the soldering iron and clean these pads up. No, it's not coming off, is it? Um, I 
they've got to use some got to have used some hard glue type stuff. I wonder if it's worth a I wonder if epoxy resin's any good. Well it's, it's all cleaned up, I put some fresh solder on and all I've got is this old heatsink compound to use, so it's not glue. And uh, I'll just suck all this solder sucker all this excess solder off and then we're ready to go. Well, all soldered in, this side looks a bit of a bodge, but these pins are all actually connected together, so it doesn't matter the masses and amounts of solder, probably help actually to cool the chip down. And uh, we'll try turn it on next. Well, I don't think it's doing anything. Get the voltmeter. Same as before, going up and down. Nothing, nothing. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, shit. So last time I put that on there, and measured here, and we've got 15. So that's better. That's better. So what's going on? Well, after the secondary coil, there's three diodes, and they're all reading a bit funny. This one at the front is short circuit both ways. The one in the middle is okay one direction and uh, short circuit the other direction. The back one is Open circuit. Oh, let's measure it on the other side. Three hundred one way, which I suppose might be all right. And then the other side is one eighty. Same with this one as well. This is a strange one. 180, this four, oh, that's alright, that side, isn't it? And this way around, it's anyway, we'll change this front one first because it uh, could be the rest of the circuit affecting it. Right, there's the offending diode. Oh, bloody things! Short circuit one way. Short circuit the other way. Now I've got to try and find one of these. I've got some fast recovery diodes of my ZX Spectrum that I'll, I'll use one of these for the time being because I haven't got the right one. I'll order some. New diode fitted. I'm a bit concerned about the output on that, um, these triax, uh, these transistors on the end. I'll show you. See these two, whatever they are at the end, I'll show you the, uh, the reading. Right, so this left hand one, put a probe in the middle. And on the two outsides, you get nice reading. On there, the middle one to the outsides, you get that reading. Middle one to the outsides, I think these are opposite way round. So you'll get that on there, and that one. Oh, that was short circuited last time. That must be the diode, mustn't it? So that's probably might be alright then. Oh, it might. Have. Oh, that's what I meant. Oh no, no. Okay, so that diode might have been shorting it out. Okay, let's power up. Oh! Well, I'm excited. Let's try it out then. Oh, nothing's blown up. Yeah, the light's on. Yes, lights are on. Ooh! Right then, all back together. We'll turn it on and see if it still works. Oh, we've got lights. We've got action. Yes, there you go then. I don't know how to use it and I haven't got a guitar, so otherwise I'd show you. I should really wait and try taking it back to our friend's house and let him show you how to use it. But thanks for watching everybody and that's a happy days for me.